right, can you continue on here? I'm gonna look in I'm looking at what what brush will give me So I'm just adding some more texture in there. Now I'm trying to find what brush will give me the little freckles. That's not it. I should, when I find it this time, if I find it, maybe I should say, I think that might be it, actually. At least that's one of the ones to add some skin texture. I'm going to go back to overlay for, oops, overlay for a second with this light color. Let's see what happens here. I'm adding like extra detail to the skin because when you view it from actual pixels, you know, you won't be able to see it as much. And then if you view it like print size, and this print size will be probably going to be lame. Oh, about the same, cool. But uh, with the print, you won't be able to see it as much. Let's see. I'm going to go through a few more of these really quick just to see what else I got. Use the dark color if I can see it. Yeah, I really recommend this Nagel series. It's really cool. I'll probably add a little too much there. There we go. I can always uh, go in and paint over again, too. It's kind of trippy looking. Anyway, so um, I'm going to pause it for a moment. Okay, so I'm just going back to my regular brushes. And you know, I'm going to soften that just a bit because I think I add a little too much detail, even for the size it's going to be. I just I want to add that kind of shape to the arm right there. Thinking that, and that, that kind of shape right in there, like that. There we go. Let's see if I added that right. Cool. Sometimes just those slightly little things like that will make uh, bring out a lot of the muscle. I'm thinking that uh, kind of shape that a bit. Kind of bring it down. Cool. Bring my size three brush here. Gonna add just a couple little. These little, you know, moles that some girls get. A lot of girls have, actually. There we go. And so there, that's pretty much it. That uh, that's the final. It's pretty much the final version. And then, it, and a lot, you know, except for the little, uh, you know, I added all the little final muscle details and everything. And now the only thing I'm gonna end up doing. Uh, to it is adding the final layers, you know, I mean, after I paint everything else, but that arm is completely finished. Uh, the only thing that's really going to change now is when I add the final tones, which is basically like adding, when you use these final layers, like let's say I, I'm going to make a new layer, and I'm going to, I'm going to know, I'm going to add like this purple color, I'm going to mess around with different overlays like soft light and stuff, and I'm going to turn the opacity down, just say, hey, what would it look like if I kind of it's like a glaze, right? Imagine you're doing an oil painting and you're going to glaze over it with a color. And I'm like, I just want to see what happened if I kind of had this kind of tone to the whole painting and, and, you know, I can adjust how how dark I want the glaze. Let's say something like that, you know, and that would be like the final version, whatever. Okay, so I don't know if there's anything else you can really learn about painting with Photoshop, I guess, except just little things I do. You might go, oh, wow, that's cool. I didn't think about doing that face that way or something, I don't know. So I guess I'll continue painting for right now, and I don't know if I want to even give her the same face. I mean, that face is kind of cool, but... Hmm. 
you know what, at least what I'll do is I'm going to just kind of draw that line in there really quick so I can see where it's at. That part, because that part's good, so. Kind of blend some of that down. And all this would kind of blend in like so. Just that, uh, you know, the cheekbone part would be the lightest. Kind of redden that up a little bit, redden that up. Now I'm going to go in with my three brush and start adding the detail to the face. Once I have this, um, you know, the shape I want to everything there, I'm going to turn my opacity up. Once I have this, you know, the overall colors and and shapes within the face. Actually, I need to just get rid of some of these hard lines right here. Then I go in and I, I start adding the fine details. It's usually the way I always do it. Sometimes I'll start with the fine details with a small brush on another layer, and then I'll work under that layer with like a soft brush just to get the other colors, I mean not colors, the other shapes I want. I'm thinking her eyes are going to be almost closed. I kind of like that look. It, it wasn't meant to be there. It's there on accident, but I like the way it looks, so I'm going to run with it. Kind of give her this sultry look. And I'm going to use uh, black almost. Just add a little bit of pure black in there. There we go. And I'm going to use this darker brown color now to kind of do our eyelid. Now I'm going to be thinking 3D here. I know that, you know, since the light's coming down right here, it's going to hit this side of the lid. And it's going to not, it's actually going to be opposite here. This is actually going to be dark here, like so because of where the light's coming down, like that, you know, and uh, kind of push it out to the nose, I'm going to kind of you know, do this color for the nose, I'll come in and add more to the nose in just a bit, I'm going to add this kind of bottom line to the eye, and I know I'm going to have a light part right there. Kind of come in at the whites of the eyes. This part right here is going to kind of come around like that. Kind of, let's see here. side of the eye will be kind of dark a little bit. Turn my brush way up. And see if I want the nose kind of stuck up like that or not. Hmm. No, that's a little too stuck. I'm going to go with what I have here. So I mean, the light's coming from this direction, so this is the side, because this is a crater. That side's going to be the darker side. This side will be the light side. There'll be this, there's always these lines around the lips that are light, so I'm going to go and add that in real quick. Let's see here. Just adding little details. I would usually never use a size 1 brush in a painting, but uh, I have to because this resolution is so low, so... Alright, so click on the link in the description, thanks.